Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to get higher FPS on Fortnite and a genuine FPS boost guide. How this tutorial is going to work is that I'm going to be starting off going through pretty basic steps, I should say, that a lot of you viewers may not have actually known. And then later on in the video, I will be going over pretty much really advanced methods to get the best out of your PC's performance. Now, how I know this video is going to help you guys is that a lot of pro Fortnite players use the exact methods I'm going to go through in this video. A lot of the methods I'm going to mention through this video are actually really underrated and I've actually had to spend a long time trying to find them so I'd really appreciate if you guys could leave a like and subscribe for some more Fortnite FPS boost guides they are not easy to make but I don't want to be one of those self promoter YouTubers so without further ado let's get on to the first method So guys, for the first method, this is actually pretty straightforward. I'm just going to be showing you the best Fortnite settings as of right now to get your maximum performance on your PC. This will help you with end games and especially competitive Fortnite. And then for the following method, I'll be going in more depth on these settings and making a bit more advanced methods for you guys. Alright guys, so here are the best settings in Fortnite Battle Royale to ensure the best FPS possible. So for your game windowed mode, you should have it on full screen. For your resolution definitely set this to 1920 by 1080 but for those of you guys who have weaker hardware and you're noticing some hitchbacks i would try both 1600 by 900 and 1280 by 720. now for your graphics quality you want to set everything to low and you want to set this to 100 percent but if you guys do have weaker hardware and you still want to get just a bit of an increase in your fps I'd recommend turning down your 3D resolution to about 83%. Now for your advanced graphics, V-Sync should be turned off. I would not turn on V-Sync unless I'm running a 60 FPS machine or just something really, really bad. Motion blur, definitely have that off guys. It just wastes your FPS and it doesn't even look good in my opinion. Direct version. Now guys, for this, it's genuinely dependent on your PC. I use Direct 11 because I don't have that powerful of a graphics card. But if you guys have higher end PC specs, maybe even an RTX series graphics card, I would consider trying DirectX 12. So yeah, this just takes experimentation. I recommend you guys turn it on, turn it to DirectX 12 and then put it back to 11 if you feel that it's not that good. For allow multi-thread rendering, you guys want to have this on if your CPU has 4 cores or more. And to find out how many cores your CPU has, what you guys want to do is head over to your CPU on your task manager. But right on your CPU, you should be able to see right here how many cores you have. I have six cores, therefore I turn it on at all times. But you guys may have less than four cores. Therefore, if you do have less than four cores, turn it off. If you have four or more, definitely turn on multi-thread rendering. And now for use GPU crash debugging, this is honestly terrible. For your latency flash, you guys should have this off. Oh, and uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, now that we're in Fortnite, this gives me a good time to plug my creator code. Not a lot of people are using it. I have no idea why. It's probably because somebody has the OG name Joe's, but, you know, Joe's HD in the item shop would really help me. All right, guys. So for this method, it actually does require having NVIDIA control panel installed. This is only going to go out to my NVIDIA users. So, yeah, sorry to my Radeon users. This one won't be helping you. So what you guys are firstly going to want to do is head over to the top left corner and hit adjust image settings with preview and what you guys want to do is go over to where it says use my preference and basically what using my preference enables you to do is basically choose where exactly you want to have this set to so yeah you guys want to put this all the way down to performance and you guys want to tick use the advanced 3d image settings so yeah right there it should lock on your brand new setting but basically what this does guys is it will give a little bit of an untextured outline on your skin and character it is honestly unnoticeable whatsoever but it makes such a huge difference to things like your performance overall like your FPS. Now guys you want to hit the second part that says manage 3D settings. You guys want to copy my settings word to word because trust me guys I base my channel off of this stuff. I have done tons of research. These are the best settings I have found. For those of you guys who think you can top it leave me a comment down below. Let me know how these can be improved. But yeah guys go ahead pause the video and copy each of these settings one by one. And right after you copy all these settings, you guys want to go over to program settings. Guys, a quick thing I want to point out is your low latency mode. I put it on ultra for input delay purposes. But if your PC isn't really running well with ultra settings, I would suggest turning this off. But it does make a huge difference to reducing your input delay. So I want you guys to bear that in mind. But yeah, go over to where it says program settings. Now, all you guys want to do is go over and add Fortnite. We're going to be basing this off of Fortnite. You guys want to go over to ads. I've obviously already done it, but you guys want to select Fortnite and do it from there. You guys are going to want to copy all of the settings right here word to word. And right after that, guys, you want to go over to where it says adjust desktop size and position. 
Now guys, you want to listen up carefully for this part. Alright guys, so a setting that I really want to tell you guys about, which is actually an absolutely insane method that I still haven't done to this day. I just found out about this method. You guys want to go over to where it says no scaling and click on this. Now this is only going to work for people who have display perform scaling. So what you guys want to do is worth a try to just see if you have it or not. Press no scaling. Go on here and you guys want to select display. Now, once you've selected display, go back to full screen mode. And essentially what this does is it's super, super, super is helpful. It helps you out with things like input delay. I mean, I guess the difference isn't that much, but it definitely will be noticeable. So if you guys do have the option, it's better off using it. And then hit apply once you've done so. And also for those of you guys who do not have display for your perform scaling, just leave it on GPU. Some people may have it, some people may not. It won't really make too big of a difference, but it is big enough of a difference to actually try. So yeah, it is worth a try guys. Do not put your refresh rate to 144, put it to the maximum value you have. Alright guys, so I think that pretty much concludes the previous method. For this one guys, I wouldn't class this as a whole entire method, but I'm just going to be doing this because there's a ton of people who don't actually download their drivers correctly to this day. Now, you guys are probably doing what most people are doing and just heading over to the Nvidia homepage and downloading your drivers. Fun fact, that is actually the wrong way to download your drivers and will not sustain you with the best possible outcome. So guys, what I want you to do is go over to the first link in the description and download your drivers the exact same way I'm going to go over right now. So what you guys are going to want to do is go over to the search bar or search tab. I don't know what you guys are going to want to call it. Type in device manager. Head over to where it says display adapters and click this key right here. Now it should say NVIDIA GeForce or whatever it is, whatever graphics card you have. Mine is a GTX 1650. So most people are just going to go over here and select GeForce. You need to pick the exact model, exactly how it's described on Device Manager. Mine is just a regular 1650. If yours is a Super or a S series or whatever names Nvidia give them, you need to be specific. You guys most probably have a 16 series. I know I have one because mine's a 1650. Do not go on notebooks. Go on just a regular one. Notebooks are for like Nvidia laptops. And I'm going to select the uh, 1650. You see, it gives me the option to go for for a super i just have the normal one now guys i've actually heard from other youtubers that the right way you're supposed to do this is have this set to game ready driver uh for your language you guys want english uk or us depending on wherever you are from i don't even know up to you uh, yeah, 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 i'm waffling but yeah you guys want to go over hit search and this gives me the exact correct driver. Right now, I'm gonna be moving on to the most effective FPS boost that you'll be thanking me for the next million years for. Let's do this. Head over to your Windows settings. For those of you who do not know how to do it, pretty straightforward, just type in settings on your search bar. You guys firstly wanna go over to where it says gaming. And this right here is the most useless thing ever. It should say enable Xbox game bar for things like recording game clips. Now, I'm assuming most of you use Nvidia highlights or if you're a Radeon user, you use the uh, inbuilt system for clipping. This right here is just a waste of CPU usage or, you know, the things they waste is just unnecessary. So I would turn this off definitely because there's no need of having it when you don't even use it. Moving on to the next setting, what you guys are going to want to do is head over to your power settings. So click on system and now you guys want to go over to power and sleep. Now you guys want to go over to where it says additional power settings. Alright guys, so now you want to go to where it says high performance as this is the best out of all of them. You guys want to go to change plan settings. Now you want to go over to change advanced power settings and a little thing should pop up right here. The first thing you guys want to do is hit wireless adapter settings and power saving mode. Make sure this right here is on maximum performance. Now you guys want to go to PCI Express link state power settings and you want to make sure this is turned off. Alright guys, so as you can see over here, it says display settings. Hover down to where it says notification and actions. And right over here, you guys just want to turn this off. There's pretty much no need to have these. They just take up CPU usage and I don't, it's just annoying when they get in the way when you're playing it. Now guys, for the final method, I want to help you guys who are struggling with your FPS to this day. If you guys have applied all the tricks and you still have been noticing a lot of hitchbacks and problems, I'd go over to where the Fortnite has the three dots, click on that. I would uninstall the game and just re-download it. If that doesn't seem to fix your problems, just reinstall the launcher as well. Because over time, this seems to get hectic for some people. Never happens to me. But I'm pretty sure it does happen to a lot of you. It's really good to reinstall Epic Games and Fortnite as a whole if you guys have been facing problems. So guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I'm kind of tired to film an outro, but peace. Hey,